right? Frogs, Nikki. Look, the breakdown crazy on this one. Had a half whipped it to a hole, then it flips, son. Whole squad go like Egyptian. That's why a nigga roll with the big gun. Stressing my mind, my nigga short shot, twist one. Hit my nigga June, come twist one. This is for my nigga. Question or? Well, you know, I just wanted to, you know, I've seen you on multiple platforms before, man, just speaking about, you know, black people coming together. What, what is it, you know, about today, man? I see a lot of, a lot of black faces. Man, Brooklyn. Yes, it's beautiful. You know, there's a lot of commerce going on. Uh, just uh, how do you feel today, man? Just being out here. It is a beautiful thing. I mean, this is synergy. This is black economics. Uh, these are vendors putting forth their talents, their services, their wares, and it's being consumed by uh, vendors of African descent. This is our most potent weapon. If we can channel our resources back to ourselves, for our services and our products, it's game over. Uh, everybody gets rich off us, every other community. Once we control and discipline ourselves about our finances, in manners like this, and obviously layers and levels much higher, but this is what we need to do to move ourselves forward in a capitalist system like America. And uh, just for the people who may not know, who, uh, could you let the people know who you are and what you've been doing? and what you represent? Well, my name is Brother Herman Smalls. I'm your brother, first and foremost. Uh, I'm a fitness specialist. I, I got about 30 years in in that. But as of late, maybe the last five, six years, I've been having a presence on YouTube uh, as a reporter, kind of grassroots, guerrilla journalist, bringing news to the conscious community and, and, and just black people in general and, and just people seeking truth from other groups. Okay. And uh, that's been kind of what been giving me a resurgence or a new following among folks in the conscious community. So that's what I do. I try to bring the truth and the most profound information in our community on the on the platforms that you see me on. Um, I wanted to ask you a tough question. Um, like me coming into the conscious community and getting a lot of this information inspired me to even go out and talk to the people and you know try to make a, a difference just by you know through action. Just from the information I've gotten over all the brothers like Red Pill and Brother Polite and you know just Sarnetta and his platform. Um, lately it's been a lot of turmoil, it's been a lot of anger, it's been a lot of fighting, it's been a lot of like things going on where it's just like it's causing division, you know what I'm saying, from everybody. And it's like how do we get back to where, you know what I'm saying, and it's kind of like taking a toll on the people who who are inspired, who have felt some type of way so they're losing confidence in certain speakers and now, you know, it just seems like a divide in a sense to me. You know what I'm saying? How yeah. do you feel about that and uh, how do we restore the feeling? Man, I, I totally agree with your assessment that that's the state of affairs. And uh, it, it sometimes it, it, it puzzles me. I wonder how much of this is self-generated, us just shooting us out, shooting ourselves that's in the what foot. It feels like. And how much is this? I mean, don't don't let's not get it twisted. COINTELPRO Pro is real too. Yes. And then remember, it was 30, 40 years later, 40 plus years later, we found out that Martin Luther King's photographer was a CIA agent. Wow, I you didn't know, know that. It, yeah, it was decades after that we found out that uh, Fred Hampton's chief lieutenant bodyguard was an agent. That's crazy. Uh, there was an Asian uh, person participating, I think he was of Japanese descent, in the Black Panther Party. Again, decades later, he was getting them weapons and helping them train tactically. He was an agent. That's crazy. So there's times that you don't find out later that people's position was there to cause disruption, disunity. Because remember, at COINTEL Pro, it was to discredit mm -hmm. the leadership, cause division, uh -huh. and in instances, cause death. Yeah. If that would further neutralize that organization from being a threat against the United States. So a little of that is still in place. But I can't, I'm not going to begin pointing to who's it is yeah, and who's it at. I feel you. Because I, I can't tell. But the vibe is of that because I really don't think we can be that. That's self-confused that we will be disrupting what's such a beautiful movement right now in that way. Peace. But, I don't know, but hearing young brothers like you, with your hand on 
on the post does me does me good to know that others are picking up the banner, realize their confusion and avoiding it. And that, that's what I try to stay away from. And at the same time, though, it's hard because these brothers has represented so much within the community for the past years, throwing these major debates, filling out these rooms, and just like you know, it feels like you know, at one point it was getting to a point where everybody was really coming together and willing to you know get to a crazy state. Like, what advice do you give to those people who may have may feel discouraged or you know what I'm saying? May think like, yo, I'm yo, this ain't really about nothing. Let me get into something else, or you know what I mean? Like, how do we get the people back on a point where we we back onto the information again? Um, we we are a very passionate people, and in many instances, we're an emotional people. We attach to leadership. That's just that's almost in our DNA, especially charismatic leadership. In this instance, it's charismatic personality types that are very engaging. And I would even give them aspects of um, intellectual capacity in their realm. Some are self-taught, some are actually degree. We have doctors on this platform. But I think the individuals we're speaking of fall in is more of the self-taught. But self-taught is fine. Malcolm dropped out at what eight and was self-taught taught that through the nation so I don't have a problem with self-taught what I have is us not having a set of protocols and standards that are enforceable that certain language and, and maybe this is one of my pet pet peeves but profanity profanity incessant profanity that doesn't even elevate any particular point okay it's this mother F that BF that it, it's just almost so so monotonous even yeah, in it. Yeah. I don't think that should be there. These personal verbal combats that uh, become insulting and personal, yeah. that should be done. If it's family, do it in, in closed doors. It, it's just so much we need to do to try to salvage it. To your question, what those coming into the conscious community, the, the new blood, you have to use your basic instinct and common sense. Take what's good and what's valuable, but what you see causing division and confusion, distance yourself. And don't attach to personalities or individuals. Follow the truth wherever the truth may go. I listen to all of them, all of them. Seti, Polite, Pharaoh, I listen to them. And I have a hand open at all times if they're ready to reach and speak. And I hope I can extend the hand to them and they would receive it. They're still family despite this dispute. And, and if those coming in can remember, we're all family. But on the other hand, we have to identify those whose paid purpose may be to disrupt this synergy of a movement that right now we're calling the conscious community. But this is the same revolutionary drive since our ancestors first planted feet on this continent. This is still our movement towards liberation. No, nah, that's peace. real, man. That's real. Peace, peace. No, nah, I, I truly you. appreciate that Thank because, you know, it, it's easy for people to kind of like get confused and lose lose the, the true actual point of this whole thing. Because it gets to the point where we just focused on personal attacks, things like And that's when it's like, is there, is there no longer respect? And once you lose respect, it's like we lose a part of ourselves in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we, it's like you disrespecting somebody that look like you that, you know, supposedly represent the same thing you represent. Yeah. And yeah. then we going that hard. It's like we allowing, we destroying each other harder than they could destroy us. Yeah. Like, because that's what I feel like. I feel like, yo, if it's going to pro, cool. Let somebody, like, but it's like when we're the ones who supposedly, like, holding it down and holding the mantle and we got these followers and now we got these people on this group talking about how oh, I hate this dude and it becomes so crazy it's like who are these individuals yeah. even taking sides like who are you like so how are you so lost that you just taking a side because me I, I personally say once and so all get like that I'm not taking no sides I'm just I'm just like sitting back like yo what's going on like you know what I mean so yeah yeah and the only side I'm taking is the side of the truth yeah exactly and, 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 and there is truth spoken on on all sides yes 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 and there are embellishments and there are sometimes flat out lies being told mm -hmm. and to harm someone's credibility yeah. or to besmirk someone's character and, and all of this to what you sling mud and, yeah. and everyone is getting dirty and grimy and what what is happening is the whole community is looking unappealing uh -huh. to a young that, that are looking for answers that know the traditional
traditional church, the traditional system, academia, great to accomplish it, but they know if you don't have knowledge of self, when you step into these different institutions, you will have a tsunami that will wipe you off your feet, and you will be serving your enemy like so many of our brothers and sisters do, unwillingly, because they didn't get connected to their self-love and know that their ultimate brain is to go to them and their people rising like all other people do. Mm -hmm. This is not a foreign concept. Mm -hmm. So so until we clean up this act, those who are coming in, come in slowly, connect to those who you feel are sincere, and continue to build. Research on your own. Don't let anybody spoon feed you anything that you accept as true. You verify, you double check. <laughs> and if you're investing money, anyone on this platform, due diligence, read the reviews they've got, check their credentials. Yes, we're, we're your brother and your sister, yes. but until we can sift this through, treat everyone, buyer beware. Don't make any investment that you have not done diligence. Mm. Still use your basic intelligence as you enter this conscious community. I implore you to. Um, how do you feel about just um, just the system changing with the new with the new you know regime of you know Donald Trump and you know uh, how do you see that affecting us right now? Do you feel like it's because it seems like the people are like okay Donald Trump president now it's time for us to do us. Obama had to sleep for eight years and it's like but it's like it seems like the people kind of still sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like Donald Trump ain't really do nothing but make people just say we lawless now. Like it just doesn't matter anymore in a sense. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm just the only one feeling like that. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, how you feel depends on your level of woke. Yeah. If you really woke, yeah. ain't nothing Donald Trump can do that would surprise you. Okay, okay. But if you under some delusion <laughs> that that you you were better off before, and, and I'm, I'm getting a lot of black for calling Barack Obama George Bush and blackface, oh, especially man. because of his policy in Africa that couldn't have probably got done under a white president. Wow. And, and I'm holding to that, but 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 we have to we have to be very mindful as to the things that we're going to accept as truth and we're going to act on without again doing diligence, ver verifying, knowing that the source and the information provided by that source is a credible one, and from there then we can start separating the wheat from the chaff and start having those who are sincere about building our people and moving us towards liberation and for the time being isolating and excluding and I say the time being because I think that all it should be a path back if a brother or sister redeems themselves while they're in exile then they should be allowed back in you know we don't have the option to hold this bit of hatred where that brother has to go and I'll say this and this is the part that maybe that's why I'm I'm probably not fully cut out to be a full military commander because in instances of treason, straight up treason, like I said, I feel that bodyguard that turned Fred Hampton in by giving a floor plan that led to his assassination. There's some stuff that's going to be worthy of death. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Because it caused that. That's what yeah. it says. So, like. and, that, and that's military. And I know there's brothers and sisters that don't have a problem yeah. with it. The humanity in me, in me tries to always find a way to salvage the human being. But there's some people who, until we get to that utopic place, we're going to have to chop some heads off. No, nah, that's real, man. And uh, one last thing I want to leave on is like, um, uh, we, we sometimes forget that, you know, we live in a metaphysical type of universe where it's like, it's beyond just what we see on this physical plane. We're deeper, we, we infinite, you know what I'm saying? I want to leave the people with one thing speaking about like, you know how everything that's going on is just a moment in time and like, this happened before, it'll happen again, and we we, we just experience in this moment right now. Even me and you speaking right now is just a part of the universe putting things together so a situation can happen. Could you just leave the people on, let, just letting them know, like, don't don't worry, you know what I'm saying? Right, things right. will be better, things yeah. will be worse, but at the same time, we're going to be here forever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and one thing, I, the most profound thing I think I could probably leave is something I'm always revisiting 
in my thought process, and that's if you remember that, and then re and remember or remember, mm. all of the answers are in you. And I know people say, like, oh no, but this side, of, they think about what they think they don't know. Mm -hmm. But when you settle yourself, the answers that you need are in you, meaning you will be getting the direction you need. So be open to that. So, I mean, do and engage with outside sources, but at the end of the day, rest assured, the closer you get to your center, with your diet, with your spiritual growth, with your physical activity, you have to maintain your health. All of those things will bring you in line and those answers and direction will come. Look for the signs. Those of you already seeing it, you're running into people that you only thought about a day earlier. You're thinking about somebody and the phone is ringing. There are uh, synchronicities happening and connection happening. You've tried to dismiss it, but you know now the time is here for those who have who are preparing themselves to step forward and really step up our move towards liberation. Know the answers are in you. Stay consistent. Continue to love yourself and love your people. We're going to get through anything they put in front of us. We have and we continue to. I love you. Know that your brother Herman Smalls is here for you. And in any way we can share knowledge and continue to live like myself and this good brother behind the camera. Support us as we grow. Enhance us and even give us your critical critiques. We'll take that and mold and continue to get better. Thank you again. And uh, could you give a shout out to Key of Life Production? That, okay. That's our publication. We are on Key of Life Productions. This is the production team to follow to get insights, information that's going to broaden your mind and just enhance your intellect. Stick with them. I was a poor nigga, tryna get rich nigga I ain't had it homie, that's my people's shit nigga Till poppy can sign 50 off the brick nigga Getting it now, I feel like 50 cent nigga I was a poor nigga, tryna get rich nigga I ain't had it homie, that's my people's shit nigga Till poppy can sign 50 off the brick nigga Getting it now, I feel like 50 cent nigga I'm gon' get rich nigga, like 50 cent nigga I was... All my riches is frogs, all my